Hey everyone, so today I want to take you on the journey of getting our new puppy. He's on his way, I can see them walking him in right now. We are in Oregon and we flew all the way here to pick up our puppy and uh, we're going to be flying to San Diego today. Um, so I'm really excited and I wanted to share this with you because he's going to be part of our lives for so many years to come and he's going to be my YouTube videos and I just want to share the experience with you of getting him. It's something that I've been excited to do for so many years. I wanted to get a dog but with all the traveling that we do it's not fair to the dog <laughs> but now that we're settling down uh, this is the right time to get one and we are so excited for this to happen. So let's go pick up our puppy. Good boy. So we got this for him, this carry-on to get him into the airplane. And just trying to tr get him comfortable to go in it right now. So I'm gonna give him these treats to get him to go in without forcing him in. So he chooses to walk in. Happy, happy. Come here, boy, come here, boy. Hey, what's this? Yeah, you want this? You want this? Yeah, you go in there then. So, not stay, I put it in, I put it in there. I put it in there. Where is it? It's right here. Look. Yeah. Good. And then after a few times, I'm going to close it and see how he feels. He was so cute. Isn't this the cutest little thing ever? Oh my God. It's called a snuggle puppy. So I bought it and inside it has a heartbeat. So it simulates the heartbeat of his mom. So I'm going to put it in here in the airplane. And also when we're doing quick training. Okay. <laughs> Very good boy. Good boy. Yeah, get comfortable. Yeah. All right, we are at the airport now and we just checked in. This little baby's sleeping, but we want to make sure that he has time to go outside, do his business before we get onto the plane. <laughs> I think we've tired him out. We're gonna Aww. come out for a little bit longer, then you can put us sleep for a long time. Come on. Come on. Yeah, not yet. He'll sleep a lot in a bit. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, Dad, I'm comfortable. Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> now he likes the crate, eh? <laughs> Have arrived at our final destination in San Diego and we're just having a little play outside and he was such a good boy weren't you not a peep from him I think he was yeah, there was a lot going on in the airplane for sure but he was so good yeah right you're so cute oh my gosh say hi say hi YouTube family <laughs> likes the camera, I can tell. <laughs> Happy is having his dinner now that we arrived. He's very hungry, as you can see. And here we are in our rental in San Diego. We're unboxing his crate. He's got his little bed, all pre-ordered. This is our new home for the next month. Good boy. good boy! Yeah, good boy! Good boy. Happy? No, no, happy, 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 not yet. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute, just give us a minute. Okay. Okay. First, happy, come. Come here, happy. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy! Good boy! Yeah! You're a good boy, aren't you? 
you. Good boy. You're a good boy. Got this for him in Scottsdale. Isn't it cute? Hey, buddy. Oh, big stretch. Buddy, look what I got you. this probiotic yogurt <laughs> and instead of eating it he likes to play with it is that foreign Ooh, what's that? <laughs> this is actually the first time i heard him bark <laughs> Okay, so I am cutting into the video because um, I kind of left you guys hanging. <laughs> I said I was going to do a vlog and share with you guys the experience. And after Kobe, we arrived with Kobe at our place in San Diego, I just got forgot about doing the vlog, <laughs> which is why I don't do vlogs. I'm not very good at um, narrating and recording clips. So I'll fill in some gaps here. Um, right now I'm in Vancouver, Canada. Um, got a full-size puppy under me. I'll show you what he looks like in a sec. He no longer looks like that. And I was looking back at the photos. I was like, oh my gosh, he was so cute. For And they grew up so fast. Um, okay, so why did we pick up a dog in Oregon? So we were in Costa Rica and we flew all the way to Oregon to get this puppy. And it's because we had to contact, well, not we, our assistant, uh, you know, bless her. <laughs> she had to contact over 400 breeders between Canada and North America. In Canada, they just, just there were no golden retrievers available. There was a one to three year wait list. A lot of the breeders were kind of laughing that we had this expectation that we could get one so suddenly. And we were totally unaware of this. We didn't know it was so hard to get a dog. But with COVID, everyone seems to be getting dogs. So the shelters are cleared out. We were open to adoption. Uh, couldn't find, uh, we wanted a golden retriever, couldn't find a golden retriever. And the breeders also, again, had a huge wait list. So in all of Canada, we couldn't find uh, a puppy. Um, and so we expanded our search to the US and we finally found one in Oregon. Now it's not to say that we can't get a puppy in all of Canada, it's that we didn't want to support backyard breeders. So we were only looking for puppies that were registered with the AKC, and were reputable breeders because we didn't want to support um, backyard breeders. You know, simple as that. Um, so it made it made it a little bit harder. But thankfully, our assistant finally found us um, this amazing breeder in Oregon, and so we flew all the way there um, to to get this puppy. And then from there, we flew to San Diego because we wanted to spend a month somewhere warm. And uh, and then that's what you're going to see next. Now in the next clip, you'll see that I had we had originally named him Happy, but he didn't look like a happy. He just like, you know, at first we loved the name. We thought happy is a good name because it's kind of like an affirmation. When you say happy, you know, there's an energy with each word that you say. And we felt like that would be, yeah, really powerful for us, but he just didn't suit happy. So we actually named him Kobe. So his name is Kobe. And so you'll see that in the next clips. So Kobe is now very well adjusted to his little soft crate and he's sleeping through the night in his hard crate. Day number two, he almost slept through the night. Day number one, I got up about 10 times, but that's normal. So at this point, Kobe was getting used to life with us, his new mom and dad away from his family. You know, it's very hard for a dog, I can't imagine. Um, and we were just loving on him. He's a very happy boy, very well treated. Um, we took him to the beach for the first time. And, you know, I can imagine why they would be so scared. Because for us, we're like, oh, you know, be a, be a tough boy. And you know, go in the waves, but imagine this little thing. It's like a tsunami. A wave is, it looks like a tsunami to a little puppy, right? So it's very scary, but he did really well. Um, and then I was just training him. So I was starting to train him basic commands, sit, stay, up, down. Um, and you can see in the beginning, he just wasn't really getting it because everyone starts somewhere. 
And so I quickly learned that it just requires a lot of patience and repetition on my part. So if I made it a practice every day to train him, um, then he would get it. And I learned that um, dogs want to be trained. They, they want, they, he comes to me so that I can train him because he wants to learn. He wants that mental stimulation. So I just have to have patience with it and practice positive reinforcement. Um, I can train him to do almost anything with enough positive reinforcement. So whenever he does something that I want, such as the command, then I positively reinforce him with A, lots of praise. You don't just want to give treats but no praise. Praise is really important. And also the treats. Um, and so I would do that and then he started to learn his, his basic commands. And now he's learning some fun things. Like he's learned to ring the doorbell and now he's learning to play dead and you know, a lot of things like that. say that doesn't look very comfortable, Kobe. <laughs> So now we are getting on our second flight. We spent a month in San Diego uh, and now flying to Vancouver, British Columbia to spend the next five months. And that's where I am right now with Kobe. Uh, and he did so good on this flight. Um, he just kind of, the flight attendants didn't really care if he was in his carrier or not. So he kind of sprawled out and just slept the entire time. Kobe is now eating and he's happy because he hasn't eaten all day, the travel. 
they're settling in yet. I love the place here. Really cool place. Looks like this furniture has never been sat on, so <laughs> that's going to be the test for Kobe. This patio, too. He's not gonna crawl through that crack. Cubby, do you wanna see? Come. Cubby, come. Cubby, come. <gasps> Whoa. Is it scary, Cubby? Cubby. Even try sniffing through that crack, okay? <laughs> so now that his toys are spread all over the place, he's a happy camper enjoying his new bed. All right, Kobe wants to show you what he's learned. Kobe, wait, oh, wait, wait, Kobe, wait for it. That's how I say it. Okay, doorbell. Kobe, doorbell. So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Um, we just were so happy that we got this puppy. It's a lot of work, a lot of responsibility. My whole routine has changed. Um, definitely less me time, but he is a puppy, so I understand that. Um, and look how big he is now. Kobe, come here, come say hi. Oh, good boy, can you sit? Can you, come here, come here. Oh, look at this big boy. Oh yeah, yummy, right? Yummy, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's only gonna get bigger. He's only gonna get bigger, right boy? Right boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs a bath. He was out playing in the mud today. Yeah. Okay, bye YouTube. I'll see you next time. Say bye Kobe. Oh, you're so happy. <laughs> okay, bye guys.